So it's important to go back to the original teachings of goodness. And that is impossible unless we learn the deen. Many times we claim to love the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yet we have not even studied the in-depth biography of his. And we don't even know the details of his character and conduct. The way he treated the non-Muslims who had harmed him physically and personally. He always maintained hope that they will turn towards the goodness instead of away from it. He always maintained hope, no matter who it was. Take a look at Abu Jahl, who was known as one of the main enemies of Islam. What Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did, he called out to Allah, Oh Allah, guide this man to the goodness. Oh Allah, bring this man forth to the goodness. Oh Allah, let him see the light. And in one occasion he says, Oh Allah, grant strength to the deen through the Iman or the acceptance of the faith by one of these two powerful men, either Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu later to be known as, or Amr ibn Hisham who was Abu Jahl. With us, we have a small problem with another Muslim brother or sister we start cursing them. Oh Allah, destroy this man. Oh Allah, destroy this sister. Oh Allah, fix them up. Allahu Akbar. Whoa. Whoa. And that is your brother in deen. We have two differences of opinion or five differences of opinion amongst us. And we are cursing each other. Oh Allah, destroy them. Oh Allah, break their bones. Oh Allah, grant them. And you don't know they are sitting at the same time praying for your bones to be broken. Is that a Muslim? Is that going back to basics? Is that what we were taught? Is that what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did? Is that what he taught? Is that what he stood for? Is that the Islam that we are promoting? Really, that is ignorance of the highest degree. It shows we have no link with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's life. We probably don't even know what he would have done in that situation. May Allah protect us. 